I move that this House acknowledges the State Government's Defence Workforce Plan to ensure South Australia has the skilled workforce required to fully capitalise on the Federal Government's $90 billion investment into the naval shipbuilding. B recognises the confidence in the sector and the future potential of the South Australian shipbuilding industry, particularly in line with success of Adelaide MG Engineering and Wyala Ottaway Engineering, being awarded contracts by Fick and Terry to build cruise ship blocks as part of their global supply chain. And C, acknowledge the State Government's commitment to, a, to training a skilled workforce in line with the defence industry's needs, including through apprenticeships, retraining initiatives and the Defence Industry Employment Program for ex-service personnel. I proudly am rise to move this motion today as its objectives speak directly to the ambitions many of my residents and businesses in King told me was most important to them when I knocked on their door. When I asked what was most important to you, most people told me jobs, economic growth and cost of living. So many people told me that we need to keep our talented young people in South Australia and we need to create more job opportunities in South Australia. The Marshall Liberal State Government is working hard every day to deliver real change in South Australia, change that creates more jobs, lower costs for families and businesses and better government services. We have created a strong foundation and will keep building on what we've started, delivering for individuals, for families and for the community. During my maiden speech, I shared the important feedback which my King community members told me mattered most to them. They told me they had lost faith in the government when they observed the former government throw money around with promise after promise on how they were going to create jobs. One resident told me he had heard the former government had a plan to grow a forest of money trees to deliver on their, for their promises. Well, we're not dreaming. We have a plan, a long-term strategic plan. Our plan to create jobs and a skilled workforce in South Australia is so important because, sadly, when I was campaigning across King, I met residents who had sold their homes to move into state to find jobs, as they had given up on jobs in South Australia. I spoke to a King resident who has moved into state for work. She has left behind two teenage children with their father so as not to disrupt their life in South Australia. In South Australia, where they would rather be living as a family, but there aren't enough jobs for the whole family to do so. Too many people are having to look into state for jobs. Too many young, talented South Australians have had to move away from our wonderful state, which is a travesty. I am proud to be part of this Marshall Liberal Government, which will create jobs and economic growth in South Australia. This is important because unemployment affects more than just an individual's financial position. It impacts the ability to put food on the table for a family. It impacts self-confidence, self-belief and eventually our ability. It impacts people's chances of being the best they can be. It can be mentally exhausting to stay positive while searching continuously for work. Application after application. With every application for employment, we open ourselves up for judgment and rejection. Creating job opportunities and a skilled workforce is and will be an important determinant of South Australia future living standards and well-being for all South Australians. South Australia has the opportunity to develop a world-class maritime industry base and highly skilled workforce with expertise across all naval shipbuilding activities. We will continue to support local companies and workers to ensure they benefit from the offshore patrol vessel, future frigate and future submarine programs. The Australian Government is investing around $90 billion in the continuous build of new submarines, major service combatants and minor vessels. 
We will support local industry participation in the global supply chain of naval shipbuilding projects and we will promote export readiness. We will provide support to the Australian Government and key stakeholders to ensure expansion of the Osborne Naval Shipbuilding Precinct is a success in South Australia. Our Marshall Liberal Government will ensure South Australia has the skilled workforce required to fully capitalise on the Federal Government's $90 billion investment in naval ship shipbuilding. Our Marshall Government will develop a comprehensive defence workforce plan to review the existing skills base in local industry and forecast the type of qualifications and number of workers needed during the next 20 years. The size and specialist qualifications of the shipbuilding workforce in South Australia needs to develop significantly to meet the requirements of the Federal Government's Naval Shipbuilding Plan and reap the substantial rewards on offer for our state. The South Australian Government must adopt a proactive role in developing a local naval shipbuilding workforce to ensure South Australia's skilled workers can be, meet the future demands of the defence industry. The Defence Workforce Plan is critical to ensure South Australia fully capitalises on this once-in-a-generation opportunity in naval shipbuilding. Under the Defence Workforce Plan, our Marshall Liberal Government will identify requisite qualifications for inclusion on the subsidised training list. It will support accredited registered training organisations to provide automotive workers with the formal recognition of prior learning, which can be used to gain new qualifications in relevant areas. We will fund 1,200 apprenticeships within those qualifications over the next four years. And we will work with the new Naval Shipbuilding College being established in Adelaide to develop and obtain accreditation for a diploma of naval shipbuilding enabling South Australians to develop skills needed to perform managerial and supervisor roles. Our government's $100 million investment over the next four years to deliver over 20,000 new apprenticeships and traineeships with a further 87 million so far successfully secured through the Commonwealth Government's Skilling Australia Fund will help us meet the workforce needs of the defence sector. The Wetherill Government have more than halved apprenticeship numbers over the last five years and are content to sit on their hands and watch a skills shortage develop. After 16 years of labour neglect and complacency, we will take a strong action to take advantage of this opportunity and establish the capacity for a continuous naval shipbuilding program in our state. South Australia's economic future will be significantly bolstered through this naval shipbuilding and we need to maximise local employment opportunities. These commitments are part of our strong plan for real change to create more jobs, lower costs and provide better services. Our Marshall Liberal Government will ensure we will make the most of this opportunity for all South Australians to benefit. I commend this motion to members of this House.